The Catholic Church is being attacked in Nicaragua, a Jesuit university, the latest to be seized by the government there. And it's bringing back memories for some about a possible exodus here to South Florida. The closures are part of the ongoing tensions between the government and the Catholic Church. It'll leave thousands of young Nicaraguans with no way to pursue careers and no hope for the future. CBS News Miami's Yvonne Taylor spoke to the Miami Archbishop and a student from the school. The University of Central America in Managua, Nicaragua, a Jesuit-run institution, has been confiscated by the left-wing government of Daniel Ortega, alleging it was a center of terrorism. This is another uh, uh, sad episode, and it's hard to see where the end game is going to be. Miami's Archbishop Thomas Wensky has been familiar with Daniel Ortega's attacks to the Catholic Church in Nicaragua in the last five years. They have previously closed some diocesan universities. They've closed about seven Catholic radio stations throughout the country. At least 26 universities have been closed by the Ortega regime. Now they set their eyes on the University of Central America, established in 1960. This is a government policy that systematically violates human rights and appears to be aimed at consolidating a totalitarian state, responded the university via statement. This is one of the universities that was not controlled by the uh, Ortega's dictatorship. Marilyn Caracas pursued a degree in communications at UCA. She says this is a retaliation from the Nicaraguan government against the university. This is a sad, uh, very sad news, for, not only for me, but for all my peers. Caracas and many of her peers participated in the April 2018 protests against Ortega, mass anti-government peaceful protests because the regime decided to cut down social security for elderly people. Weeks later, security forces violently put down the protests. Many of the protesters attended the private university. It means that we have like the space to have this critical thinking. Nicaragua is no longer afraid of the United States. Dario Moreno is a political science professor at FIU. He says things will get worse. I think the United States has acted very weakly. Uh, toward uh, these violations of human rights. More than 8,000 undergrad students attended UCA. Almost 1,000 were pursuing graduate degrees. I think this is going to add to um, a issue of migration from Central America. If you can't find a future in the country in which you were born, you're going to look for that future elsewhere. Starting in 2018, Nicaraguans were among the highest number of migrants that crossed the southern U.S. border. Hundreds of thousands already made it. Experts say it's very likely that the exodus will continue. In Miami Shores, Ivan Taylor, CBS News, Miami.